the hell throws a shit ton of dolls up into a tree? Can I jump off? I can. Am I gonna die? No, I'm not. Next. Yes. He's dead. Probably. Do 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 do. Wait. They're right there. <sighs> Damn kids. Oh boy. What do you have to say? So I'm gonna go kill undead guys. Alright. All good with that. Alright, so this uses mana. Yes, and apparently so can everyone else. I guess I'm gonna listen to a story. Five now. <laughs> okay. Uh, or Mancy Songcraft. What do I want to pick? I think um, in the thing that I did, I um, in the sort of there's an online sort of thing that you could do, and you could pick like a like three different things, and I think the one that I did was like. Defense and Oromancy or sorcery or something, so. Um, let's do. Let's, let's do Oromancy. Why not? And then 10 will be defense. That sounds about right. So passives. So I can pick any of these, huh? Rich 3%. We'll take that, yes. Because that sounds great. And then we will uh, protect the winds, it's immunity to magic damage, leech interrupts the spell, uh, liberation, immunity to that, can't tele teleports, yes, I can't pick that because I'm not level 20. That is an interesting UR a UI, what does the wart do, increase movement speed, sure, pick that. Get it in there, and we will. Yes. Oh. I still have one skill point, apparently. All right. Uh, what's this do? Yes, that sounds. I love a new attack ability. Brand new attack. Why not? I say that a lot. Probably too much. This is loud. So I'm gonna do options and turn down the volume. Not to zero. Okay. Alright. Apply. So these aren't the guys I'm supposed to kill. I'm supposed to kill these guys? Clicked, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what it is. And yes. I was right. Good. That is some weird sounds I'm hearing in the background. <laughs> Wonderful sounds. 
I just hear like whispering and crap. This is probably boring, as I'm sort of imagining. Alright, now we have a sword, I guess. Or whatever I'm gonna choose. If it is a choose, it'd be kinda cool if they just gave it to you. All of it, but... I know my MMO is gonna make me choose one. Is it? Huh. Okay. So do I just have... I do have just a crap ton of, uh... Things. Labor. What the hell is labor? But... Let's see what the hell this is. It's better than what I got. What's this? What is a Noda... Noda Chi? It's better than what I got. Oh, it's a two-hander. Yes, that actually sounds pretty good. And what the hell is... The staff, how is it in... Yeah, I think... I think that's good. What does it say? Civilian staff. So that's actually a staff. Well, this is... Yes, we will use a big-ass sword for this. Yeah, I have a thing. That was easy. <laughs> and what do we get now? A loot, apparently. And a bow. So we'll just sort of identify everything. And... Stuff. Yes. Now what is this? What? Does this equip into something? Apparently yes. Oh. Um, hmm. Apparently you play a flute to heal people nearby. I'm guessing it's not like a full-on healing heal like the ones I've got, but a thing. A thing thing. Oh boy. Yes, if this right here doesn't actually get that much of a sort of views or anything. Well, nothing I do gets views, but I, yeah, you should probably not forget your daughter. Okay. Neat. Yes, I probably won't do like, this isn't going to be like the thing I do for the rest of my life. I, I just wanted to share a fun game. Whether or not that's going to help me or not, I don't know, but, oh. Do I... Okay. <laughs> there are a lot of people, so I was just in this area. Holy crap. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> As you can probably tell, I don't want to do... Like, a crap ton of videos of me just playing an MMO. Although... That might be fun for another thing, just like do a let's play of an MMO, but that's not really something I see in my cards of being good.
Oh damn, that's got some weight. And what did I just pick up? A farmer's coin purse. Okay. Let me just readjust. I don't know. I'm not really gonna be... I'm not gonna make this a long series or something. But it would be... Kinda cool, I guess, if I end up playing this randomly. Okay. Cutscene. A firefly sting. That's what they called the birthmark on your arm when you were a child. But occasionally, it would flare up, producing its own light, and you saw the worried looks it got. Its bizarrely regular shape would gleam on your skin like a torch. You've never met anyone else with one. Never even heard about anyone else with one. Okay. The land of your birth was filled with legends. The library expedition. The twelve adventurers who had found the birthplace of the world. The resulting exodus from Auroria, the northern continent. The settling of what is now Nuia. But in all the legends, there is no mention of anyone with a gold rune-like mark on their arm. None? It was a perfect anomaly. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so... Do I have... Some fancy skill point now? No, I do not. Heh. Said something. <laughs> oh, I hit back. I'm like, why the hell is she repeating herself? Another cutscene. When Marion caused the golden mark to flare on your arm, your muscles trembled. Memories flashed dizzingly before your eyes. It was easy to assume they were your own life, but you soon saw grand cities unlike anything on New Year. It was as though you were looking out through someone else's eyes. I guess amnesia. As that person purchased fish in a marketplace, a mirror in a nearby booth reflected her face. A chestnut-haired young woman with milky skin and the refined features of a noble. The memory vanished as quickly as it had begun, leaving you unsteady. Oh. You wondered if Marion had caused you to see it, but she betrayed no knowledge of it. You'd always heard that when they died during the destruction of Auroria, the members of the library expedition pass their memories to the survivors of their races. No. Although time had faded those memories, some especially skilled individuals could recall them. Because the Aurorans passed through the hereafter on the way to safety during the exodus. It was said that the goddess Nui's memories could be felt especially strongly. 
before the journey had transformed her to the goddess Nui. She had been a charity-minded noblewoman named Diana. Your golden mark burned. Another memory appeared. A charming hooded vagrant begging for food. Okay. <laughs> um, is she just going to keep giving me money and XP? Because as much as I love to have an hour of cutscenes. <laughs> can jump with this. That is... <laughs> I'm just gonna spam the space key while I'm bunny hopping over. Cutscene time! The more Marion spoke of Lucius, which she did often, crediting him with the carnage you saw, the more memories seemed to fill your head. It was clear they were Iana's. She apparently used her family's wealth to run a soup kitchen for the city's poor. Who? Oh. You saw the smiling vagrant begging for food from the soup kitchen every day. And heard Iana eventually chastise him for being able-bodied but relying on charity. With a laugh, he handed her two tickets to a play in a local theater. As more memories flashed, you shared Iana's realization that this man was Lucius Quinto, a famous playwright. Could this be Marion's Lucius? What kind of playwright could commit such carnage? <laughs> Especially one who seems so charming. So charming. It's always the charming ones. Uh -huh. Alrighty. Wait. Oh. Is this... Yeah, this is what I'm supposed to be at, I guess. Oh. Wouldn't that bleed if not left, uh, I don't know. <laughs> don't, don't listen to me. Actually, please listen to me. I'm running into a... I was just running into a rock. Well then. No. Oh. How lovely. Carnivorous bees. Come on. Sprint through the bees. Not the bees. Anything but the bees. Anything but the bees. Just rubbing over there. Oh. Two thousand years, is that what that said? Let's see, Mr. Skyrim Hat, what do you bees? You want me to kill bees? I will shear your sheep. I can I can shear sheep. Sweet. 
I'm gonna cheer the fuck out of these sheep. No, little dog. Looks like a wolf. <laughs> cheer and sheep. Apparently you can get your own sheep and you can cheer them yourself. Apparently, like I said, I don't actually know too much about this game. Just that, from what I saw from a few things in that. I should kill this bee. Before it kills a sheep. <laughs> Not a sheep, a, uh, a dog. I like dogs, okay. They're fluffy and warm. Can I kill a dog? <laughs> I like dogs, can I kill them? I'm using a massive two-handed sword to kill a bee. Fantastic. Let's try killing two of them at once, why not? Oh god, this is probably a poor idea. <laughs> I got killed by a bee. This bee can't be lying. Can Five here, yes. I got killed by a bee. How wonderful. <laughs> wow. I was kind of expecting, is this like an either or thing? Combo. This is, uh, uh what's the combo though? Uh, ally slash self restores health. This is just damage, I think. Yeah. Huh. Can I target? I can. Huh. Alright then. Let's try not to die again. You know, die from... Something really dumb. <laughs> Oh, quest. Yes. Okay. Drums. What else can I say about this game? It's interesting. Kind of wish I could just, you know. Get to the fun part. I don't know. It's probably fun. Look inside a model home. Okay, and let's just hop out the window and talk to him. Mirage Island. Alright then, I'm hoping eventually what happens is it will open up and be like, go to here! Let's see, where is Mirage Island? It's not it. What is Mirage Island? That is not... Is that that island? No clue where it is, but I'm sure eventually I will know where it is. It'll probably tell me, like, go build a house. Hopefully that's what happens, and I... I wonder if I could have bought a horse. <laughs> that's... It's just now uh, coming into 
my thoughts is, could I have bought a horse? Magic attack, okay. Probably could have bought a horse. I think I can turn on lanterns and crap. It's kind of cool. Go on a village. Cut down shore. I'll learn how to gather. I'm just more curious about what's up with the uh, Sims music. He's very angry about that. Huh. <laughs> I am... I probably shouldn't find it too funny that there is that Sims music, but... Look, it's, it is kind of silly. Do, 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 do. Oh. I don't know if I'm gonna have the, uh... Oh, yes. Characters get wiped on release, uh, apparently, as what they said. Can I get... Okay, apparently I can't have a tree fall on me and take damage from it. Damn. I was actually kind of hoping that happened. Huh. Pick a... Sure. What do you want, person? Picking flowers? Okay. Oh. Shit. What? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. That is... That is going to be the thumbnail for the video if I... <laughs> that is by far the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Holy crap. I have a, I have a baby horse on my back. Here, have a horse. Sure, I'll have a horse. Uh... Huh. Oh, I'm guessing at the planet? So at the planet in a public stable. Hmm, I think if I am gonna get a horse, it's gonna be that one. Twilight Moon, what the hell? <laughs> All right, you can uh, you can uh, do quite a bit. Let's see. I guess I have to harvest it, so it can't be installed there. What? Okay, where can I put it? Public stable. I had to do it in here. I guess right there. Uh, 
Alright then. It's kind of an interesting thing. But yeah. Uh, you can have people ride on your horse apparently. I guess. I don't, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. You can buy cheap gold at that thing. I guess. Okay, so... Uh, which horse should I get? The brown one. Not the brown one. Actually, I'm gonna get the gray one. Yes, I want the gray. Yes. Sweet. Place it on the ground. Some water from the well. Clean it. Shed season one. This is some deep crap right here. I don't think they have the English dialogue set up yet. <laughs> See, you raise a horse. So. I guess let's put it down here. Do I talk to it? I just keep... Huh. I'm raising a horse while being spammed about gold. Not enough water. Where do I get water from? Up there. I have four water. <laughs> Whatever that means. Alright. Do I give this hand to the horse? I guess I... What am I doing exactly? <sighs> okay, I guess I wait a little while. <laughs> this is kind of an interesting way to... Uh, I guess you'll breed horses at some point. I'm dancing for a horse. Alright then. Does it like that? Does- oh. And I just... Did I put it in my pocket? <laughs> That's some interesting stuff, but I guess I have a horse. Let's run. Pets can be given their own equipment. Oh, a pet helmet. Leg guards. That's kind of nice. Cancel pet summon. Oh. I guess at some point I can... Yeah, there's mounted combat and whatnot, I guess. I mean, I guess. I kind of know about that. I have... Last time I... I saw something. Uh... Cutscene. I'll tell you it after. The blood hands have been a frequent topic of conversation in Souls Reap for years. They were known as a secretive association of assassins, with dealings at all levels of society. The group's motives were shrouded in mystery. But oh. rumors spoke of religious fanaticism, and a plot to rule the Crescent Throne. Oh no. 
blamed for a spate of kidnappings, they became the region's boogeymen. A reason for children to fear the dark, and for parents to secure their homes at nightfall. Of course, these everyday phobias belied the true horror of the organization. They had allegedly assassinated the last king, and had grown very dangerous and powerful. You wondered if they'd had any historical precedent in Iana's time. However, her memories held no mention of these dark assassins or their trademark crimson gloves. They just wanted to dance, man. Huh. Okay, more dialogue. Now I forget what I was trying to tell me. I was trying to say. Huh. Can I? I can. Oh boy. Yes. I forget. <laughs> I'm not very good at remembering things, but. Uh, I think probably the best thing to do now is, um, I'm probably gonna either stop it here and then continue it, or this is gonna be the last you really see of it, but I'll probably skip ahead to, like, just do some, like, I don't know, get to a point where it opens up instead of, uh, Sims musicking through a bunch of tutorial quests. But yes. That asshole just bumped my horse. That's fine, I'm slicing open my horse when I'm sitting on it, but yeah. Um it's been an hour of just playing this. Um I'm gonna thank you for watching and I probably won't do too much of this. I will probably just get to the parts where it opens up and then do light videos and that horse is one of the cutest things ever holy crap yes it'll just it'll be like either just a little video every now and again uh i'm not gonna get the game or buy it i'm just gonna have fun with it when it has open beta bits and when it's out maybe i'll do more videos of it but now this is an open beta beta ends September 4th I think not 4th it started September 4th and September 8th and at today recording this September 6th so yeah uh, thank you for watching and the next ones will be less intro quests and whatnot that is a donkey holy crap but yes the game apparently gets sandboxy a bit like uh, EVE Online is, I think. I'm literally just speculating at this point, but I've probably said thank you for watching like four times in like the last five, like two minutes. So I'm going to literally end it now and just say thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. So long and goodbye, you beautiful people. <laughs> so long.